Hi guys, good morning from Phuket. We got here around 7 p.m. last night. We didn't realize that this Airbnb was an hour and a half, almost two hours driving distance from the airport, but we finally got here. The bed is soft, I am so excited. Our bed in Chiang Mai was extremely hard. So I had the best night's sleep. I, had, I, first, I dreamed for the first time in months. And same with Carter, so it was, we definitely slept in a little too late, but now we're off to go do some exploring, so let's go check it out. I just realized we have a washer outside. It was dark yesterday when we came, so I didn't notice the view and how pretty it was, but there's a washer in that cage, and this is our view from our Airbnb. We're in Rawai, I think. But let's go get some food because I am starving Marvin. so humid, the camera lens keeps fogging up so badly. Carter got a breakfast and I got a tuna tartine and I'm so excited because I don't know what a tartine is but hopefully it's something delicious because the seafood I feel like is really probably fresh probably because better. we're right by an ocean that we went to yesterday and it was incredible. That's my cookie. <laughs> is it good? It's dumb. Okay, Bethany Frankel. <laughs> she always says that when she eats her food. It's a pumpkin. It's a Halloween pumpkin in your latte. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna try the spritz cookie. Look at this. Mm. Look there. That's a soft lemon meringue. Oh, this is sexual for you. <laughs> it's not raw tuna, but it looks delicious. It's beans. Mm. How is it? Who gave this man beans? I set up to start growing stuff. I cook beans and stuff. Mm. Mm. Update, it is so good. I traded my salad for his potatoes. Hee <laughs> hee. Sucker. Just finished breakfast. Now we're gonna go find a scooter to rent so we don't have to walk everywhere. We got the yellow one. It's a little hermit crab, it's so cute. Set it free. the warmest water I've ever felt. There's so many rocks here. Hand to the rocks. <laughs> It's so cool. I'm so hot. I think I might pass out, but it's so beautiful here. Is it good? It's like wow. <laughs> it's papaya. <laughs> I think I'm 
Love, that is definitely a papaya. That is not guava, that is papaya love. Is that good? Did mm. I do good? Mm-hmm. Mm. I got a couple but no. My forehead is shinier than my future. Holy, look at that glow. Am I in heaven? This is a coconut. They stopped to take a picture of the coconut, but I thought they stopped to take a picture of me. Of your coconut. I was like, oh my god, a fan. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I don't got coconuts. Mine are passion fruits. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna eat that, aren't you? I'm gonna eat that. He ate that. You guys wouldn't believe we found the coveted blue Gatorade here. When I was dying on my deathbed with food poisoning, it's all I wanted and they only had yellow Gatorade in all of Chiang Mai. Lo and behold, in Phuket they have blue Gatorade. Maybe they do have it in Chiang Mai, but I was dying and could not find it. And so I'm so excited for this. Blue Gatorade is the best flavor. Aren't you excited about the Gatorade? Uh-huh. We just so happened to have gotten the best seat in the restaurant. Yeah. So uncanceled their reservation. So we snagged we it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind my Oompa Loompa hair, but oh gosh, it's real rough. We just went for a swim in the ocean and now we're gonna get a full seafood platter of fish that was caught today. We're getting sea, um, sea bass, shrimp, calamari, fries, salad. What more could you ask for? Right next to the ocean. Chicken. So we could, we're probably looking at the fish's family while we're eating it. A little bit savage, but I'm here for it. <laughs> we brought out a little appetizer with baba ganoush and some oil and vinegar. I'm so happy. With pita. I'm so happy. Try it. I just can't get over that this is our view. Like it looks like a picture. Mm. Mm. Well, that's what you gotta do. You gotta bubble ganoush and then the dip. Y'all, that is softer than a baby's bottom. <laughs> Yum. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> That's the most beautiful seafood chow I've ever seen in my whole life. I don't even know how to eat it. That's a giant, that, I didn't even know shrimp could be that big. That's a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shrimp umphant trump. Yeah, is it just the best thing you put in your mouth ever? He's in heaven. Let me get up in one of these bad boys. It's like a dill tartar. This is by far the fanciest meal I've eaten with the wettest t-shirt on ever. <laughs>
That's so good. That's delectable. Try this shrimp daddy. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not the shrimp sauce. What's the shrimp sauce? I think the shrimp cocktail sauce. <laughs> the man was too stunned to speak. Oh, and it's just a casual sunset. While we eat the seafood tower of our dreams. While he's with the woman of his dreams. <laughs> we found a safe zone. <laughs> yeah. Back at the homeland. We need waters and we need, ooh, water. But these are heavy and big. Oh my God, look at how big their toasty selection is. You get a whole wall of toasties. This is exciting. <laughs> after we just ate the most gourmet roux. <laughs> Not after that 24 hour challenge. <laughs> look at what we found at 7-Eleven hot and spicy pistachios. So excited about those that we got some, I feel like these are kind of like Pockies. And then extreme spicy Korean Cheeto puffs. So excited. And then these little corn snacks cereal, oops, chocolate things. Yeah. We just got back home after eating the most amazing meal of our lives. I was scarfing down. I had like a shrimp tail in my mouth, sauce all over my face, <laughs> scarfing down this food. I probably looked like the like in that scene of white chicks when they go out to when she goes out to dinner with um, Terry Crews. <laughs> That's what I felt like because the girl that was next to us in the next table, I just looked in the corner of my eye and she's just like <laughs> I felt so embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to slow my roll, but it was so delicious. The biggest shrimp I've ever had in my whole whole entire life. No, I'm okay. Oh, that dang, those are big. They're so good. God, those are huge honkers, but overall, such a good first. Couldn't have asked for a better first day in Phuket. It's so beautiful and so nice, and oh, the fruit tastes better here. It's been just awesome. Just an awesome, awesome time. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Like, oh, uh, so nice, so beautiful. And Thailand has the best fruit ever. So been living, gonna be living off fruit shakes for the next four days, for sure. But now I'm gonna go shower because I'm fully soaked. It started raining. That's not why I'm soaked. I'm soaked because I went in to the ocean and put my dry clothes on and then got everything wet. Definitely not equipped today for a beach day, but Nonetheless, had a great day, and Carter peed in the ocean. Just kidding. Actually, I don't know, did you? Oh yeah, twice. <laughs> oh God. Okay, but we're gonna watch TV. Actually, we don't have Netflix or anything, so we've been watching YouTube, and I don't know what else to watch on YouTube besides, if you are Canadian, you'll know this cartoon, 16, so we've been putting that on the TV while we go to sleep in our soft bed, and so I'm so excited to do that. Might go to the pool, but probably not, but Hope you enjoyed our first day in Phuket. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue this vlog or just start a new one, probably start a new one. So stay tuned for lots more Phuket Did adventures. You know no, I'm okay, thank you. I am, now I'm distracted. Now I forget, now I'm off my roll, but. Stay tuned for lots more Phuket adventures. <laughs> yeah, what he said, bye. <laughs>